Welcome back, we're getting straight into Operation Hellborn Shriek. It's a snowy operation. It's an ugly town. An advent town. We're touching down to destroy an alien relay in Patrol Zone's eight outskirts of Novgorod with our new uh, five-strong team. We have got a rook, a pwn. Believe it or not, he's not a sergeant, he's a rook. Uh, and he's here using the power of Mr. Skeletal uh, to do the best he can. We're gonna press the any key to launch as soon as I can find the any key on my keyboard, and we're gonna try to complete this mission. Menace 1 5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Opposition is concealed. So the data transfer has eight turns till it's completed. We have to destroy this relay before that happens. Looks like moving through this house affords us good firing positions as we move. Once we've moved through the house, uh, I mean, you're definitely going to want Jamble up in these windows at the very least. Uh, she can cover us as we take out the objective itself. Okay. So let's start taking out this, uh, let's go knock on the front door, I suppose. Heading out. Bone Daddy leads the way. It was cool new get up. And we're gonna move to the right. And we're gonna prep everybody. Go, go, go. Already there. Getting it done. Solid copy. At the very least, we're gonna get Jamble inside the house. We're gonna keep her there up in the uh, second story. Oh, I hear the Viper. The Viper is coming. Oh, I see him too. Good thing I zoomed out. So we got a patrol right ahead. Open this. Jamble, I'm gonna trust you to do a solo breach on this one, I think. Order's confirmed. Moving out. I trust you implicitly to make this house work. And next time we can get you up into position anyway. Let's get you up there now. I'm sure you'll be okay. Yep. Good eyes on. Without the introduction of human DNA. These creatures, once operating under the guise of Thin Men, now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Almost scared these civilians who are over here sitting in their house, but fuck them. We didn't. Uh, we're gonna keep on moving towards the objective at this point, I suppose. Why don't you move in here, buddy boy Beagle? On the move. I want you to take this corner position. Bone Daddy's gonna follow. Position confirmed. Right there. And then the rest of the squad as well. Suarez around to the side, perhaps? Prehaps. No, no, come in, come inside. On my way. Affirmative. Moving out. Suarez getting herself ready. Sarge on the window. And we're going to use this house to bound through. Now I'm going to want to pick this viper off and get this party started, I think. Although again, picking off the trooper is a guaranteed kill that makes my life a lot easier. I mean, we're not going to kill you, are we? We should just try to take out the trooper instead, then grenade the viper. Done. Knock knock! Hey, what do you think of the weather today? Oh, it's pretty- Hello. Slight chance of bullets. Target disabled. Okay, the Viper will now engage us. In open combat. The nerve. Uh, I'm just gonna, probably going to blow this guy, uh, blow this, this lady, I should say. Blow this Viper's cover wide open and then move in from there. Open door. Get on floor. Dinosaur, etc. Moving out. I want to move up to make sure I don't reveal more pods first. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty reasonable. Rook, I want you to move up. Heading to that location. And I want you to use your frag for this one. Granata Pashla! Granata Pashla! Here we go. There is zero cover for you, and also zero sympathy. Oh, Suarez is still concealed, I forgot. Phantom is a good perk to have. Bone Daddy, gonna move up on the side. Let's do this. 
I'm gonna take a shot with the big beaks. It's a big miss. Not even close. Not even close, baby. Uh, yeah, that really wasn't impressive. It was not impressive shooting. Worst case, I have to use the range to finish this off. Best case, Bone Daddy, please kill this uh, Viper for me. Oh man, that dodge. Hardly did anything. It hardly did anything. That is right. Okay, we're gonna have to pop this then. Moving. Surprise! There was a ranger here the whole time. Oh Christ! Fuck! These goddamn Vipers have such high dodge. That's not good, we're in half cover versus a Viper. And that means there's a bind and... Viper tongue and bind in my future, or perhaps a poison spit. Oh, fuck you! That's right, it goes both ways, motherfucker. Get fucking destroyed. Oh, shit! Damn. I forgot the tongue was a single action. That's not good for Alapone. I think I need some help. Yeah, it's not not tops, is it? That's a bit annoying. Good thing I brought the med kit. Okay, Beegs. Probably gonna get you moving to the side at this juncture. I'm gonna bring Suarez around to the side as well. On the move. I'm gonna heal Beegs. Settle down, you're fine. Now, a pwn does not have a lot of good things left to do in this mission. So here's what I'm going to do for you, a pwn. I can drop evac in this mission, right? Yep. I'm going to run you out. See, the problem is, I don't have a medkit left for a pwn. So he's just going to slowly die over the next three turns. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to run a pwn up. Good copy. Moving on target. I'm going to give him a shot here. Well, you tried. This is not good. Alright, now... I need an evac ASAP! I'm gonna call in an evac for a pwn. And we're gonna I'm see you later. You can call in evacs on some missions where the evac isn't as important. So we're gonna do this one with four people because a pwn was just gonna get himself killed. Unfortunately, I think I've fucked myself now because if I move, I'm gonna poison myself. Take a pistol shot, Jamble. I should have reloaded first. But there you go. As long as I don't move, Beagle won't get uh, regassed, though. Here I come. Bone is gonna have to move on the objective. Looks like I got a pot in there too. Affirmative, covering now. Overwatch. Hopefully, I can wait till the poison cloud goes away. Not this turn, but soon. Someday soon, the poison will leave us. I swear it. Tired of waiting around. Gonna keep moving in with Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy's close. I don't. I don't know what I saw there. I thought I saw something. Hopefully, this coming turn, the uh, poison will go away. That's affirmative. Let's get Jamble over to the uh, correct window here, so we're firing, firing correctly. Oh, that window's fine, I guess. That window's no problem. Hopefully, next turn. Oh, who's gonna grab that? So, Jamble gonna grab me that loot. Grab the loot, Jamble. I'm on the move. Hashtag worth. By the way, while I'm speaking about it, that's a fun little thing we can do with the evac. But I really do feel like Take the evac zone, uh... You know, I, I really shouldn't do, make a habit of doing that, doing the evac in the same turn I do it. I guess I wasn't thinking of it like a true evac there. But I do think it's a little bit, um... Cooling down. I do think it's a little bit too easy that you can call in an evac and extract someone on the same turn, like, both ways. I think that's a little bit too easy. To be able to do that, you know what I'm saying? Hit it there now. I think really there should be like you drop the Sky Ranger LZ, it takes a turn for it to get in position, next turn you can use it, you know what I mean? Got it covered. Keep chilling, Beegs. I'm not even gonna reload now. you in case you the get poisoned. Alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Yes, yes. Okay, Beegs should be good to move now. Yes, Beegs is good to move. Gonna set up and prepare to take out this relay. Skip. Let's move already. Shit, we got contacts. Fuck balls. They see the drone. They see the drone over the fence. I swear to God, they see the drone. 
God damn it. Fucking drone every day. Uh, what is the hack? Out of interest. Hacking in. Get out of here, you fucking drone. Uh... Yeah, I can do that later. Not right now, though. Do that later. Suarez moving in for the flank. The flanky dank. That is good. Affirmative. Moving out. We got him flanked to the right. He says, don't shoot at me. I say... Nope. Big ol' rush. Move your body up. Moving to designated position. And then I got a 39 with Jamble. I don't think we'll take that. I think we'll try to get her back into a good position instead. Um, where's a good position where I'm not going to get her shot? Probably back here. Moving to designated position. I hope. Good to go. Yeah, I've still got eyes on. Overwatch. Got it covered. And I'm probably going to move Bone Daddy back just so he doesn't get flanked accidentally. Finally. I think that other guy was, yeah, definitely with him. Oh shit, he can still flank me. Fuck. That guy can is way closer than I thought. He can totally flank me. He's going for it. Save us, Beegs. Thank you, Mr. Beagle. That guy was totally going for the flank. Nailed him. Nailed his butt to the wall. Alright, time to remove officer and get this show on the road. Uh fuck it. Grenade him. Bombs away! I ain't got time to bleed. Alright, that's half his cover gone. I it shouldn't still be half cover, is it? Or sh no, it is still heavy cover. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it, man. What can I do about that? I can run up and shoot gun him, that's about it. Move up. Tired of waiting around. We should have him next turn, hopefully. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Suarez has a pretty good chance to kill this guy, let's be honest. It's a pretty reasonable chance. I'm gonna take it. We've got eyes on the objective. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rip you. Nice charge, well done. Destroyed. Okay, move up. Let's get eyes on the objective and let's start taking it out next turn. Here I come. Jam, well, I'm gonna get you in position to do the same. Move it out. Meet up with me, Jam. Let's do it. Let's do the fusion. Okay, and we've only one turn to spare. Signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. We have only one turn to spare. We're going to take this relay the fuck out. Right? Right. Yeah, it doesn't show up on the line of sight indicator, but we're going to move over here. And we're going to shoot it in the butt. Moving out. Bang. You can't miss the relay, by the way. Very good. Go ahead and take a reload. Let's rock. And we're gonna take it out. Nice. Menace 1 5, we've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Alright, we gotta find those remaining hostiles. Moving to Overwatch. Where are they? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that supply. Infiltration. Hack, or at least a chance of that supply hack. I'm gonna recover the supplies if we can. If not, hey, nice. Exactly the right choice. Small case of supplies, excellent. Nice little bonus. Hack the planet. Hack the. They really like saying that. Hack the planet. Heading to that location. Moving out. Oh, what? 
Damn, they close as hell. I, I saw that. I seen that. Moving to Overwatch. I see you, little fuckers. Little fuckers. I'm gonna hold my ground, reload, and Overwatch. Locked and loaded. Got it covered. Scanning. Got it covered. Hello. I saw you last turn. The Bone Daddy got you in his sights. Hail to the king, baby. He's not pleased. He doesn't like that. Advent forces sighted. Okay, here they come. I wanted the miss. Oh shit. That is not good. Okay, Sector is making a runner. Missed. We want to get a grenade onto these advents and start killing them if possible. Now, Suarez has got this guy dead to fucking rights. Moving to designated position. Dead to rights to flank harder. You are completely dead. You have really nice skin, Suarez. Okay. Enemy down. Now we're gonna move up with Beegs. On the move. We're gonna excavate this person's cover. Throwing grenade! We're not throwing it, but sure. Goodbye to you. You are so fucked. I'm going to kill you. Shit. That's all right. I got nothing. Let's do this. Pulling out all the stops for this one. Get protocol. Bone Daddy sends the little flying skull out to do his dirty work. That's the noise it makes. It makes that noise. Okay, Sectoid shouldn't shoot us, and we should be good. You gonna make a zombie, you're gonna psychic panic me. You gonna make a zombie, you're gonna psychic panic me. You're gonna psychic panic me. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Just a little delayed reaction. Pull yourself together, Beaks. Pull it together. Okay, why don't you just kill this person? Oh, they're in cover. Shit. Why don't you just kill this person anyway? Nice. Well done, Torres. Collect his skin and use it to augment your own. Kill confirmed. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Nicely done, troops. We get the double status confirmed from Bradford, as is tradition. Eight enemies killed. Eleven turns taken. Two soldiers wounded. Oh yeah, opponent Beebs. I forgot about the poison. But apart from that, good hustle. Should've just used another grenade on that Viper, man. Should've just been like, fuck it. Now Beebs in the sick bay and opponent. Well, he's been sitting in the Sky Ranger this whole time, like, pissed off. I ain't even get to go on the mission. Bullshit. I think he should still get promoted, though. Hubba 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 hubba. Alright, we're slightly wounded. Pwn wants to be a ranger when he grows up in 13 days. I'll keep that in mind. Suarez is already a ranger and gains Shadow Step, which is the super cool ability to not trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire ever. You don't cancel it out like Lightning Reflexes, you don't trigger it, you just you just don't ever trigger it. It's up against Shadow Strike, which obviously, you know, plus 25 bonus aim and crit when attacking enemies uh, while concealed. That's good and all, but I really just prefer Shadow Step. It's just so much better, in my opinion on all my ranger builds. Well done, team. Good hustle. Got another Lyrium Core. Supply, Sector Corpse, Advent Officer Corpse, Viper Corpse, and Advent Trooper Corpse. And now we can autopsy the Viper, if you're into that, if that's your kind of thing. Hello, Commander. Now I need to Intel. 
We countered rapid response, and we got some extra supplies, I'm pretty sure. We were meant to get extra supplies, and now we got a small cache. Um, and that's that. Commander. Okay, so we're gonna make contact with New India and get that extra money, and then maybe if we're really lucky, we'll make contact with New Arctic before the end of the month as well, or before the supply drop hits. Setting course for the Indian regional. So let's fly over and get on that. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. We learn how to build radios. So now of resistance radio, all thing, all seriousness and jokes, all jokes aside, uh, we can now reinforce our regions we've made contact with, with towers, uh, radio towers, that increase the supply gain from there, uh, and also reduce the amount it costs to contact the next region because you're close to a radio relay. Uh, just all sorts of good benefits. It's good to have radio relays. Viper Autopsy, not just yet, thank you. I should really get onto magnetic weapons soon. Sectored Autopsy is also something I will get into eventually. I think for now I will finally do hybrid materials. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Thank you. Keep on scanning. Commander, we can now construct radio relays. Oh. Commander. We got a mission. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. You're damn right I will. I'll do anything for you. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So the Avatar project is the new Doom ticker. Unlike Panic and Enemy Unknown, this is constantly being pushed up by alien facilities that are built around the world, uh, and you can take it down in similar ways by taking down those facilities. So we want to make sure that Avatar project doesn't get out of control, or we're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. But for now, we're going to keep on uh, scanning uh, New India. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Right, hybrid materials is complete. We can now build a plus one health vest if we wish it. Um, that is also going to allow us to get plated armor uh, at about the same speed as mag weapons, um, which is... we don't have allies for it, but otherwise it would be a good thing to go into. I think at this point, I might do a sectoid autopsy. I don't want to do mag weapons until I get the boost for it. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. A la mal. That's the sectoid. Crack those bones. So we can get to work on sectoid autopsy. I've started to wonder how the Advent administration. And we're gonna keep going. Hey, Sonic's finished clearing that room. That was a pretty fast job, Sonic. Now we can build a bunch of stuff, which is really good. Uh, we can also put Sonic to work, uh, excavating more stuff. But me, what I think I really want is to get my AWC going. 
Uh, the resistance comms is important so that we can keep taking more uh, regions. We want to get on that quickly. But in my case, I think I really want to get on this advanced warfare center next. Maybe a proving grounds and then a resistance comms. Uh, is probably what I want to go for next. The AWC is really helpful to keep your troops in the field, and also the, the earlier you get it, the more you get the benefit of its perks. So I think I'd like to get that building as quickly uh, as is humanly possible. Which in this case means uh, putting Sonic on the job. Advanced. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Damn, that takes a lot of power. We need to get a power relay built too. Hopefully that's not the totally wrong choice. It might be greedy to build an AWC so early, but uh, I hope it's the right choice and doesn't kick me in the ass later. We'll see. Making contact with New India. What's up, players? I'm XCOM. Alright. New objective added. Now we can do the Evan Black site Commander, if we so wish. We've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. New India is a hub. Look at all these different places we can get to now. Let's have a look. What is this? Suit up. All armor and vest proving ground projects are completed instantly. Excuse me? I would like to get that, yes. We will be working towards Africa. These bonuses are kind of randomized now. Oceania is recruits cost 10 supplies. That's kind of cute. But this is similar to the continent bonuses of the old world. Ooh, personal combat sims and weapon upgrades may be reused. Fuck yeah. There's a lot of good bonuses to get here. Uh, quid pro quo is quite good as well here in Asia, and these move around, like I said. Asia doesn't always have quid pro quo, they move around. Sometimes you won't even see these in your campaign, there'll be different sets of bonuses you can get uh, around the world. In this case though, it just saves us money on the black market. I'm hoping the black market happens soon, because I really rely on the black market as a crutch. And it hasn't popped up yet, and I need it. I need it so I can get to work on mag weapons. Uh, but we're gonna work towards this. So to get this bonus, we need to make contact with two more regions in Asia. So I guess that would be the new Arctic and... Uh, what? Oh, I think I have to make contact with the new Arctic to make contact with this fourth region. Then once I've built a single, uh, one more radio relay, these two pips represent radio relays. So once you've got four continents, or, uh, once you've got four locations and two relays, you get the bonus. In Oceania's case, you would only need one relay and two uh, uh, regions, for example. So what can we do here? Uh, that'll add extra cash. Let's try and make contact with the new Arctic. Uh, because that way we can get even more money before our next supply drop. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Yes, yes, I know, I know, but this is important. Trust me. Attempting to establish local regions. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. All right, so the sectoid autopsy is complete. This opens up the way to psionics and also gives you access to the mind shield item, which I haven't used a lot but certainly can help you against psionic attacks. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really get into psionics too much until you've gained some Illyrium Crystals, which you do not have at the start of the game, so we're a bit blocked there. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is Faceless Autopsy, because I need that at some point as well. This gives you a very good item once we have the corpses for it. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. It's like a Wookiee combined of like a giant vat of genitals. Like a giant vat of gooey liquid genitals. I don't like the faceless. I, like, I like them. I like them as an enemy. I'm just saying, I would not like one in my bathroom. I, I don't think they look very nice. New orders, Commander? I don't think they're uh, an artistic 
and tasteful thing to display in your home. I wouldn't recommend them from that. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I don't know who would actually have a faceless in their house, like, on purpose. Maybe your family is a faceless and you just don't know, but not on purpose. Okay, we're gonna keep making contact here. Commander, we just got Ooh. word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Alright, well, speaking of getting some Illyrium crystals, it's time for an advent supply raid, so let's hit these fuckers. Alright, we've got a couple of holes in our roster which we're gonna have to patch up here. We have a couple of rookies. Glitch is coming in, and so is Martin. Martin looks very happy. She looks just very pleased with herself. Good for you, Martin. We need to go and get Mr. Skeletal back for Bone Daddy. There you go. I'm gonna leave it in your hands this time, Bone Daddy. I think you're gonna handle it better. I don't think scanners will be as necessary this time around. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a flashbang. Hopefully ghosts can keep, well, keep concealed and keep ghosty. Otherwise, we're calling in some help from uh, Exalt's... <laughs> Exalt's old commander with Glitch Power. We've got two frags. We're lacking the Grenadier. Uh, Beagle ain't here. Which is a real shame, those Grenadiers are a big part of my strategy. A couple of flashbangs though, and a medkit. Things could be worse, alright? Things could be worse. Alright, all that said, let's hit it, I guess. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace, ready to deploy. Resistance ambushed an advent train moving through an area of remote wilderness, and they've left plenty of cargo for salvage. That's where we come in. Once you're on the ground, eliminate all hostile contacts and secure the area. Seize anything of value. All right, it is a shopping spree. That's next time on Operation Storm Knife. Until then, hope you have a, uh, hope you've had a good time uh, this time, uh, and until next time, have a good one.